Good morning, I'm Al Evan, Mayor of Mesquite. Today's COVID-19 report is 83. This is an increase of nearly 30 cases since I spoke to you on Friday. We can attribute this to more testing, more people out and about, or any number of things. Regardless of the reason, we need to remember to do everything we can to keep ourselves and others safe and healthy, especially if we want businesses to remain open. And that's what I'd like to address today. We are wanting to spend our money in Mesquite when possible. But the other day I needed to go to St. George. I noticed very few people wearing masks or practicing any type of physical distancing. Finding a place to eat lunch appeared nearly impossible as most places had carry out or drive through only. Utah needs to get on the same page and have some uniformity. Speaking of face coverings, there was an article in the RJ yesterday entitled, Mask Mandate Puts Retailers in a Bad Spot. We know COVID-19 cases are elevated in Nevada. It doesn't matter if it's from increased testing or not. And because of this data, the governor has extended his phase two of the recovery plan until the end of July and has closed bars that do not serve food for at least two weeks. He has also issued an order that requires people to wear a face covering when in public places. In other words, people not wearing face coverings are to be prohibited from entering businesses. Those medically unable to wear a mask are required to wear a face shield. The issue for businesses is the requirement to enforce the order. On the news from Las Vegas yesterday, I saw a protest from a group of people outside the Grant Sawyer building, our state office building, holding up signage saying they would not comply and wear a mask and similar signs. That is their right, I guess, but it's not their right to cause financial harm to a business. Most establishments have signs posted that say a mask is required to enter. If businesses do not confront non-mask wearing people and ask them to leave, they could face significant fines and even lose their business license. Let me make it clear, we as a city are not doing inspections. I as a mayor do not have any authority in this whatsoever. Our law enforcement will not be giving out citations or even warnings. However, OSHA will, the Nevada State Gaming Board will, as well as a number of other state regulatory agencies. They have the laws in place to enforce the governor's order. Fines can range from between $13,000 to $139,000 per occurrence. These agencies would like nothing better to bring in more money to a financially hurting state. These fines could destroy a business very quickly. This has put businesses in a very difficult spot. They have the responsibility, but not the authority to enforce the order. So the bottom line is, if you want to spend your money in Mesquite and you want businesses to survive in Mesquite, wear a mask covering. If you want businesses to fail, don't. I'm not preaching and I'm not threatening. I'm just stating the facts. I said the other day, just bite the bullet if you don't believe in wearing a mask. No one is asking you to wear it all day. Employees have to, and I know it's not comfortable for hours on end. But for the short time most of us are in a store, I think we can survive. I'll state it again, if you want our local businesses to stay afloat during these difficult times, do what you can do to make it happen. Whether you like whether the governor is doing or not, right now he controls the future of our state in dealing with COVID-19. Perhaps we will never know who is right and who is wrong. None of us can see into the future and no one I know has a crystal ball. But for the time being, all we can do is keep the faith, use our common sense and stay mesquite strong. Thank you.